Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I am Empress Real 1584, The Good Witch. If this is your first time visiting me, I would like to thank you. While you are here, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. By taking this action, it will help me to grow. Also, take a moment to read my about page so that you can have some understanding of who I am. I will never copy another person's work, nor will I copy another person's title. I am authentically me. This work is a part of my bloodline. Thank you for visiting, and I pray that you will all return. Please check out my other videos. All are welcome to share his or her story in the comment section below because your story may be a help me to someone else. My channel is a no judgment zone place for healing in some sort of way. If my video does not resonate with you, please do not try to make it fit at all. For anyone else and everyone else that this message does make sense to, take from it what helps you on your journey towards your happiness in every area of your life. Please check out my other videos only if you know what your other placements are. Cross watchers, you are welcome. I am Empress Real One Five Eight Four, The Good Witch. Let's begin healing together. Next up, we have Pisces, the mystical fish. Pisces, this reading is for you. This is a collective reading. This is not a personal reading. This is for the collective. This is for anyone who resonates with this reading. If you don't, don't try to make anything in this video fit whatsoever. However, I'm going to be reading for you and I'm starting off with my Lover's Oracle deck. I have already pre-shuffled my cards. However, I will do it again in front of my viewers. I like to shuffle my cards. I don't like to bring energy in from my last reading. I want each reading to be its own individual message. However, some things from another reading may trickle in. And that could be because you may be dealing with that sign. However, I like to clear the energy from every reading. And I do that off camera. I am Empress Real 1584, The Good Witch. Please like, subscribe, and share my channel. You will be helping me to grow. I am truly grateful to all of my followers and to all of my new followers. This is surrender. Surrender. At times we must surrender the old before something new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. There's something in your life that you need to surrender, whether it be a person, whether it be a place or thing, whether it be something that happened to you in your past. You need to surrender. Let go of the past and everything will work itself out for you. At the bottom of the deck, we have secret admirer. Pisces, you do have a secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Someone has secret feelings for you than they are letting on. You know this person. However, you may think of them as just a friend, as an acquaintance as a work colleague, someone that you shoot the breeze with every now and then, but someone does have genuine feelings for you. So you need to pay attention to your surroundings. 
I'm going to do a nine card spread to find out some information about this person and about you, Pisces. Oh, they jumped out. Okay, Pisces. Those cards jumped out. Let's see. We need six more cards. Spirit guys, please help me to deliver the most accurate message that I possibly can for the sign of Pisces. Spirit is asking me to shuffle again. Two cards, Spirit, guys. Two cards. Two cards for the sign of Pisces. It doesn't matter if you are a male or a female. There is no gender in tarot. Even if you're a cross watcher and you have Pisces in your chart, whether it's your sun, your moon, or your rising, this message may possibly be for you as well. If you are a cross watcher just trying to figure out what's going on with a Pisces, this reading is for you as well. There's a little nosy in all of us, right? That's why we're here. That's why we watch Tarot. Because we want to find out things or to confirm things that we already know. Because some things you do know. Some things you try to get a little more clarity on. However, let's see. I had a card that flipped over. One more card. One more card. Spirit, guys. One more card. Okay. I have to reshuffle again. I have a unicorn in this reading, and Gemini got that card as well. You may know a Gemini. A Gemini may be the secret admirer. You'll find out. However, in one of the Gemini readings that I did, we also had the snake card that showed up for them as well. So, let's find out. One more card, Spirit Guides, for the sign of Pisces. One more card for the sign of Pisces. One more card, Pisces. Here we go. We have the number 10, and the number 10 represents fire. The number 10. Pisces, let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. Let go of the past, past baggage that you may carry. Sometimes we don't realize that we're carrying past traumas, past hurts from our past. We don't realize it. However, Spirit is saying, let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. It's time for you to embrace change. And this is the change that you want, Pisces. You want this change, and it's time for you to embrace this change. The number 10 may be important to you in some way. The number 10, have you been seeing this number, the number 10? If so, Pisces, your angels are sending you guidance of love and support at this present time. If you haven't noticed the number 10, you will start seeing it in a day or two. Those of you who have been seeing the number 10 are at the beginning of your spiritual journey and you are beginning a new phase of your spiritual journey. And those of you who haven't noticed the number 10, you, you will begin to see it in a day or two. And that is when your spiritual journey will begin, Pisces. 
This spiritual beginning includes an expansion of spiritual connection and increased spiritual awakening with the combined energy of number one and the angel number zero the angel number 10 signifies new beginnings and fresh starts of all things that are spiritual when you see the number 10 you are being freed from bad habits or destructive behaviors as the card reads let go of emotional upheaval. Also, it means that your life is about to have a major, major improvement. There may also be a need for you to avoid certain people or certain situations because they aren't good for you. And you know that Pisces, you are the mystical fish. That is for like 40% of you. When you see the number 10, you will know that it's time for you to stop holding back and embrace the new opportunities that are right in front of you. We have the number 28, which is the snake. This is the number 28. This is the snake. Gemini got the snake card as well. Your intuition and your healing powers will guide you to a better path. However, just be careful because there are, with the number 10, which is fire, there are people that you need to let go of right now, Pisces. You know who these people are. This is not new to you. What I'm saying is not new. You already know this. Yes, it's hard to let certain people go, right? Because you have a connection to them. However, for your peace, for your happiness, it's time for you to let certain people go in certain situations so that you can move forward towards your happiness in every area of your life. We also have the number 11, which is flowers. Beautiful flower, correct? Be generous. Be generous, Pisces. Success and emotional fulfillment are yours. Be generous with yourself. Be generous with yourself. Because when you start to let these negative people go, that's you loving you. That's you being generous to yourself because when people affect us emotionally, it does something to us, to our thoughts, to our bodies. That negative energy is spews all over the place. So it's time for you to release the toxicity that's around you. It's time to let it go. We have the number 22, and that is mountain. The number 22 may be significant to you in some way, form, or fashion. This number 22 may be important to you because the 22 is the mountain card, right? So know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. Be very cautious because when you let some of these people go, when you let some of these situations go, oh, these people are going to be mad because they didn't believe that you were strong enough. They didn't. Mm -mm. They didn't think that you would say the things that you said. They didn't think that you would speak up for yourself. But you have been slowly but surely, but not in the manner that they thought. They thought that they could, can I say, dog you out. They thought that they could disrespect you and you sit there like a quiet little mouse. Mm-mm. You're just silent because you pay attention and you like, you love to dot your I's and cross all of your T's. 
So you are highly protected. Your angels are with you. The number 22 Pisces symbolizes duality, adaptability, insight, selfishness, relationships, sensitivity, and diplomacy. When receiving this number from your angels, it's a message that you need to trust yourself and your instincts, and your instincts are spot on. You're right about these people. You're right about this person. You're right about these situations and these things. You are. The number 22 is perceived as the most powerful and creative number of all. This means you are able to overcome all kinds of obstacles and aren't easily knocked back down to failure. However, Pisces, you also love to be seen as successful. So many may become frustrated if you struggle to achieve your aims. Let's discuss what the number 22 means in love. Let's discuss that. You are someone who stands by his or her partner when required. Be it emotional support or giving proper advice when needed. You are someone who does not have unrealistic or imaginary thoughts about love. You do care about your partner and your close loved ones. As per your numerology compatibility chart, you care. And that's the problem. Sometimes, right, you can care too much. When I was a child, I never knew what that meant. I'm like, how can a person care too much, right? That doesn't make sense because if you care, that means you care. There's no such thing as caring too much. Let me tell you why that statement is there. Pisces, you care too much. Cancers, they care too much. Scorpios, water signs, they care too much. We care so much so that we want to make other people happy instead of ourselves. That's caring too much. When we neglect who we are, that's caring too much. The reason why it's caring too much, when that person doesn't reciprocate, and that's us expecting us from someone else. Everyone is not going to be like you, Pisces. Everyone is not going to love like you. Everyone is not going to care like you. However, you know who this person is, who these people are that you need to let go of because you've given so much of yourself and you've received nothing in return. The next card that we have out is Dragonfly. This is the number eight card. Pisces have confidence during this time of great joy of this renewal and your connection to spirit. Have confidence that everything in your path is about to work itself out. And you may have already seen the shift, felt the shift. You're in the shift. You know that things are working itself out because you started releasing yourself from these people slowly. This is the unicorn card. This is the number 33. 33 may be an important number to you. This card is success. This card is freedom, healing, hope, and magic are all available to you if you just believe in it. Believe, Pisces, you are the mystical fish. You are magic. You are the mystical fish. So, you know success is yours. You do have hope. You do have very real healing abilities, whether it be through 
conversation or whether it's with your hands, you have healing abilities and you love to be free. You are magic, Pisces. You are the mystical fish. And we have the number one card. And this number one card is very important because this card is abundance. Lucky times are ahead of you, along with good news, success, and also prosperity. The number one is very important as far as angel numbers go. The number one is all about beginnings, newness, and change. The number one encourages you, Pisces, to be assertive and take the initiative in your life, which you have already started to do so by releasing these people or that person. The number one, as far as love goes, this is a fantastic sign for those looking for that special connection, that deep kind of love. Angel number one means true, intense love is on the horizon. And you remember that card that we got that was at the bottom of the deck, secret admirer, right? Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So this is abundance. If you're not in a relationship, this is abundance in love. This is your happiness. This is somebody loving you properly. This is you loving yourself properly so that another can see who you are. Because you want to be loved in the manner that you love yourself. We have the number 19, which is luck. And the number 19 card says, you are right to be strong and optimistic about the opportunities ahead. There are a lot of opportunities ahead for you, whether it be in love, whether it be in your career, your life as a whole. There are, there are so many opportunities that are available to you and you know exactly what some of them are and we also have the number 26 which is plain and Gemini also got this card in their reading so you may be connected to a Gemini Pisces Gemini may have Pisces in their charts or Pisces you may have Gemini in your chart however plain this is plain. This is a journey is indicated either physically or metamorphically. Your life will become more full. So this is you thinking about taking a trip or planning on taking a trip. And that's when your journey begins. A journey is indicated here. This is the number 26 that may be important to you however with the gemini reading i use these cards to clarify and i'm going to use these same cards for you i'm being drawn to use these cards for you to clarify this reading pisces because you have too many similarities here with the gemini reading I hope everyone is doing well because your reading looks amazing. It's a beautiful reading. I dropped the card, so you're going to have to excuse me for one second. I don't edit my videos. I like them raw. I do not edit my videos at all. I like my videos raw. You know? Clear and uncut. What you see is what you get. However, let's do the bottom of the deck, which is the number 32. The number 32 is the transformation card. Reach out for the power and strength to make changes. Enrich your life. 
and become the person you want to be. Become that person you want to be. You've already started the healing process. You know how I know? Because you've been letting go of people that no longer serve you for your highest good. You care that much about yourself that you're saying, enough. You don't bring value to my life. I have to let you go. I am tired of the nonsense. That's what you're saying. Spirit guys, I would like to clarify Pisces reading. Can you help me to give them the most accurate reading that I possibly can for someone or whomever needs to hear this message right now? Spirit guys, please tell me what I need to hear. Show me what I need to see for the sign of Pisces, the mystical fish. Hmm. I hear you. That first card is beautiful. Let's continue. I'm going to take all of those in the way that they did come out. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. 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 Hmm. Okay. Wow. All right. Let's see. Let's see. One more card, Spirit Guys. I see where you're going. Whoa. That is entirely too many. However, we do have this card that flipped over. And I'm actually going to take it. And we're going to keep what's at the bottom of the deck. Self-love. We got self-love, Pisces. You love yourself. You love yourself so much so that you are releasing the toxicity that surrounds you. Whether it be people, places, situations, or things. You love yourself that much. And that is right on top of the number 10, the fire card. Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. This is you, self-love. She looks so happy, didn't she? This is the sneak card. And you remember that was the number 28. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path. Just be careful. So, someone here is bisexual. And that could be you, Pisces, that is bisexual. It could be the person that's coming into your life that's bisexual. But it's saying, be careful. Pisces, if you are the person that is bisexual, that means possibly you're unsure of your sexuality. Do not keep this a secret from whomever that you may start to deal with. No secrets. Be honest and upfront with that person and allow them to have the right to choose if they want to be with someone who's undecided about his or her sexuality. However, no secrets. There's someone in the closet. Is that you, Pisces? Or is that the person coming in or the person that you have already dealt with? Place that where you need to. We have secluded. Separation, soul searching, reflecting, and that's letting go of the past. Thinking about who else you need to let go of. 
and you're letting go of all that past hurt, past pain, that baggage that you once carried. You're letting all of that go. And be careful financially. You know, check on your credit. You may be looking for a new job. You may be unemployed at this present time. However, you and your past person had a love-hate relationship and you don't want to go through that anymore. On top of the unicorn card, this is the justice card like Libra. This is balancing the scales. This is the justice card. And guess what? The number one abundance fucked up over you. Someone is really messed up over you, over what they did to you. It could have been your past person that was bisexual, that kept the secrets, that was unsure, that were in the closet on the DL. However, place that where you need to. And on top of luck, we have the number 19, which is mixed signals. Someone was sending you mixed signals. And so guess what? It's either red light, green light, yellow light, whichever way. You don't want mixed signals. It's either go, it's either slow down, or it's either stop. And so guess what you did? You put the pause on it. You put the brakes on and you stopped it. No more madness. No more confusion. Fed up. You were fed up. You were so fed up. That's why you took back your power and you started loving who you are. You don't want anybody to be confused over you. Telepathic communication, however, your past person has been trying to contact you telepathically because they're not even brave enough to call you, send you a text or anything like that. Let them keep contacting you telepathically and guess what? Block them out. When you start thinking about that past person, know that they are thinking about you. That's telepathic communication. But with that being said, guess what? block them, start thinking about something else, or start saying to them, leave me alone. You know why? Because you're fed up. So block that telepathic communication. Block it. Block them out. Block them out. Pisces, did I give you enough information? We could go a little deeper, but at this present time, I just want to see what message that our spirit guides have for you today. Spirit guides, what message do you have for the sign of Pisces, our mystical fish, my cousin, because I'm a water sign and they are also a water sign. What message do you have for Pisces? Too many. What message do you have for Pisces at this present time? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, cousins. Let's see. What am I most afraid of losing? Pisces, what are you most afraid of losing? Is it yourself? As we grow, change and transform our lives. It requires us to let go of something that was to make room for what will be. If you were to take that big leap of faith today, would you feel scared of losing love, safety, or belonging? What if it was a big fat lie? What if it was impossible to lose any of those things because you have the power to give everything you need to yourself. Self-love. Today's mantra, I move forward knowing I am powerful beyond measure. I am loved, I am safe, and I belong. Who am I ready to forgive? I am not what happened to me. I am who I choose to become. Is it time to let go, forgive, and move onward? 
is your soul ready to forgive someone else or yourself? Forgiveness brings sweet release, freedom, and also insight. Look at it from their shoes. Notice how you grew and what you learned. Who do you want to become and how is this resistance holding you from what your soul truly wants? Today's soul action, write a forgiveness letter, then practice the Hopohono prayer today while thinking of the person you are ready to forgive. I love you. I am sorry. Please forgive me and also thank you. Where am I with my health goals? Where do I want to be? Why am I not there? What will it take for me to feel well? If my body could talk, what would it say? So if your body could talk, Pisces, what would it say to you? Today's soul action, feed your body what it needs to feel nourished, appreciated, and loved. Make some new exciting goals to take your health to the next level. Once again, self-love. I'm going to pull a few charms out. My eyes are closed. Please trust that. My eyes are closed. However, Pisces, there could be an Aquarius that's involved in your situation. Place that sign where you need to. If it doesn't resonate, don't make it. Capricorn, there could be a Capricorn involved in your situation as well, Pisces. Sagittarius, there also may be a Sagittarius involved. However, place that where you need to. We have Capricorn twice, Capricorn. There could be a Capricorn involved in your situation as well. And we also have Sagittarius again, Sagittarius again. So we have twice for Capricorn, twice for Sagittarius. And we have Taurus. There could be a Taurus involved in this situation as well. Some of my charms are smaller than others and I apologize. However, we have Gemini. And didn't I tell you that some of the cards that appear here also appeared in the Gemini reading? So there may be a Gemini that's surrounding you that's involved in this situation, just as well as a Scorpio. I hope that I helped you in some way or helped clarify a few things. Trust that my eyes are closed. I'm only going to pull a few trinkets. This is the letter X. X marks the spot. The letter X, it could be the first initial of someone's first name, middle or last. Place that where you need to. We also have the letter H, Harold, Henry, Henrietta, Herbert. Place the letter H where you need to. First, middle, last initial. We have the letter L, Linda, Lori, Larry, Luther. Place the letter L where you need to, first, middle, or last initial. And we also have the letter S, Sam, Sarah, Stephen. Place the letter S where you need to. It could be someone's first initial, last initial, or middle initial. Place that where you need to. I'm going to pull for you one more time. Pisces, there could be someone around you that smokes or needs to stop smoking, or you yourself may need to put down this habit. We have the moon. Some things are kept hidden for a reason. However, the moon knows everything. We have born to run. Do you like going jogging? Have you ran in a few marathons? Born to run. That's freedom. Born to run. I hope that I help someone in some way. My channel is all about healing. I send to you nothing but happiness, peace and joy, love and light. I am Empress Real 1584, the Good Witch. Let's begin healing together. This reading was for the sign of Pisces. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share my channel. 
Even if you didn't like it, share it, like it, and subscribe to me anyway. I thank you.